So before starting the video, I would love to thank Relevel for sponsoring this entire tree series. So if you're tired of waiting for companies to respond to your applications through different job portals, the next few seconds are very, very important for you because Relevel by An Academy is India's first hiring platform that can get you a job within a week itself. Yes, all you have to do is to register for the Relevel test and within a week, your interview will be scheduled with India's top companies and the top budding unicorns. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you check out the links in the description and apply for the relevant test because it is free. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem. Insert a given node in a binary search tree. Yes. So what does this question states? You'll be given a node, right? You'll be given a value 5 and you need to insert this value 5 anywhere in the binary search tree such that the property of binary search tree that is left is smaller than the node and the right is greater than the node and the left subtree is BST and the right subtree is BST is maintained. Now you can you can actually uh, create like you can insert this node any way you wish. One of the insertions that you can do is definitely over here. Once you have done the insertion you can just uh, return the root of the binary tree. So that's one of the insertions that you can do. What is the other insertion that you can do? What if I say I'll keep 5 here and then I'll keep 4 here I'll let 7 be here and then I can have 2, I can have 1, I can have 3 uh, that looks good right this binary search tree is also possible yeah the height height is a bit lengthier but yeah this is also possible so this is one more insertion that you can uh, think of the other one that you can think of is you have 4 over here you can have 5 over here and after that you can have 7 so basically insert 5 in between of 4 and five, uh, 4 and 7 that's also possible so there can be multiple possibilities of uh, entering this particular given node you need to find out one any one yes i repeat any one and you need to return the root of like you have to just modify the binary tree and you have to uh, return the root of this modified binary tree that's the question the problem link is in the description you can try this question out and if you cannot solve it after that you can watch the solution okay so how do you solve this question let's not complicate the question what if i say insert the node 5 at whichever leaf it is possible what does that mean like try to figure out where this 5 could have been in this particular tree let's try to figure that out so you will be like hey striver uh, I'll go to here, I know 5 will be on the right, so I'll go to here, it's 7, I know it will be on the left, so that doesn't exist, so you will say that I will put that into the left and then I can just return the root of the binary tree and that's going to be my answer. Now, okay, it works for 5, what if I give you a number which is something as 0, how will you enter that into your binary search tree? So, again, just Try to figure out where the node 0 ideally would have been. So you start over here, 0 should have been on the left. You start over on 2, 0 should have been on the left. Go to 1, 0 should have been on the left. There doesn't exist a left. Insert 0 over here. Pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple. What if uh, the node's value is, for an example, a 9 for that reason? Again, let's keep it standard. Let's start over here. 9 should have been on the right. Go to the right. 7, 9 should have been on the right, there's nothing on the right, insert it. So ideally, I try to figure out where it should be. And the moment I end up uh, getting to a null place, I'll just make a node and insert this new node, that's it. So I try to figure out where it could have been, and I just go there and insert it. Nothing, nothing new, man. As simple as that. Now, the question stated that this, whatever node uh, number is given to you, it does not exist in the binary tree. Like they will never ask you to insert 4 or 7 or 2 or 1 or 3 for that reason. Like anything that's already in the binary search tree will never be asked to be inserted. Whatever value you will be given, be it 5, be it 0, be it 9, that will always be a new value. So the logic is very simple. Find where it can be and insert. Find where it can be and insert. And this where will always be some leaf position this where will always be some leaf position very standard very straightforward right okay uh, let's uh, take this bst okay 
and let's take a node which is uh, being given a value 5 let's try to insert this 5 uh, using this code let's let me first explain you the code so basically you are given the root uh, and the value again the c++ is on the left and the java is on the right so you're given the root and you're given the value so if the root is null like if if the binary search tree that's given to you is empty so you just uh, make the node itself the root and you return that right super simple and after that you create a copy of root why do you create a copy of the root because at the end you have to return the root itself so you create a copy of the root and after that uh, you keep on traversing uh, like you keep on traversing and uh, if if the val that, that you're being asked to insert if that is that is that is that is kind of uh, on the right side this means it's on the right side and the right side by any chance is not null you move to the right like you keep on keep on searching where this could have been if it is null which means which means it should have been on the right side but it's null so what you do is you just uh, point the right uh, by creating a new node which uh, has this value and after that you can say break hey it's over i've inserted it similarly you'll do for the left if there exists a left you go on the left checking hey where's where does it exist and uh, similarly if it doesn't like it's null on the left you create a new node and you insert that and after that you break and you return the root of the tree and that's as simple as that now let me do a dry run on this uh, particular example that i've taken so assuming uh, the val to be 5 and this is the root so initially root is not null uh, cover is here okay so i'm saying val is 5 5 is not greater so it will come to this line correct curl left is not null so curl will come here perfect again comes back the value 5 is it a greater than curl val value 5 is greater than 3 so this time we will go to the right so curl will go here again comes back this time the value 5 is it a greater than a curve it is it is greater so on the right it's actually else that's null so what do you do is we say curse right curse right why don't you create a new node and insert this value 5 okay perfect i inserted this value 5 once i've done this i'll break the moment i break the root was pointing to the 6 so i'll return the root so i have made the new tree and i've returned it as simple as that as was the time complexity again assuming the binary search tree to be height balanced i can say the time complexity to be log base to n okay that's that's what the time complexity indeed will be for a height balanced binary search tree so i hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series also if you wish you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series also if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing because i'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well with this uh, let's wrap up this video let's meet in the next lecture bye bye take care Whenever your heart is broken